Welcome to the latest update to the MMA fighting pound for pound rankings, where every month our esteemed panel sort through the noise to answer one question. Who are the best overall male and female MMA fighters in the world? Alexander, then told you made a big jump after another successful defense of his flyweight title at UFC 301. But the real news is who he passed to get to his lofty spot. Let's take a look at who Pintoja bumped out of the top five list. Again, all due respect to Alexander Pintoja for putting in work this past weekend. But we have to address the elephant in the room. John Jones is no longer part of the pound for pound top five. By four. The most significant factor that hurt Jones this ranking cycle is that our panel has gone from eight members to seven. That means, one ballast points are completely off the board. Which in this case had a major effect on Jones, no. Two on set ballot and less so on Pintoja only, no. Fourteen. With the new math. Jones drops one spot to no. Six on our consensus list. Which is the lowest he's ever been since we started our own independent rankings in July 2021. Jones. Fall can't be blamed entirely on the numbers though. Indisputably, one of MMA's all-time greats, Ose has been gradually losing support from our voters due to inactivity. Yes, when over Sir Gain is now 14 months old and it remains his only fight of the past four years. His light heavyweight run is the stuff of legends, and he's well within his rights to wait for a preferred heavyweight matchup with Stipe Miasic. But how long is Joan Stock allowed to stay stable? Especially as he continues to stubbornly dismiss a matchup with MMA fightings, no. One heavyweight Tom Aspinall. Black. Jones. Chris Cyborg has been a mainstay atop our pound-for-pound -pound rankings. But no more. The laters. Featherweight Queen drops two spots all the way to no. Seven. And like Jones, the change can be attributed to more than just math. Cyborg certainly has more of an argument to hold steady based strictly on results. She has lost just one fight since debuting with a loss in 2005, and that defeat at the hands of fellow legend Amanda Nunes happened more than five years ago. She's been untouchable since, unfortunately. For Cyborg, her competition at featherweight has rarely sparked the imagination and recent wins over Kat Singano. Arlene Blakow again, Sinead Cavanaugh, and Leslie Smith again aren't moving the needle even with the most hardcore fans. 